Annyeonghaseyo to each and every one of you. In today's video, I wanted to show you how to make my mom's pork crackling chili oil crisp. And this chili oil crisp is the one that she's been making ever since we were young. And it's just so, so, so good and flavorful and texturally amazing um, to be put into any type of noodle soup, stir fries, any porridge, dumplings, pretty much anything you want. It's actually quite easy to make as long as you can find the ingredients and have the patience to do so. So with that being said, let's just get to it and show you how to make it. Let's go. So for the ingredients, I have here two pounds of skin on pork belly that I cut into really small size cubes like this. Now my mom likes to cut it fairly small like this as you cook it and render it out they tend to shrink quite a lot and it's just easier in terms of distribution into the chili oil. Along with that we're going to season it with some garlic powder and some sea salt and for the chili flakes I'm using two kinds today. The first one is a coarse grind Korean style chili flakes that you can find at any local Korean market or check your local Asian grocery store to see if they have it. It should be coarse. And I'm using this one for the color. It'll give the chili oil a really nice bright red color to it. I'm also going to be using Thai chili flakes here. And this is the one that I'll be using. This one is hot, but it's not extra hot. It's pretty mild to my flavor palette of spice, uh, but you can choose and pick whichever Thai chili flakes that you prefer or find at your local Asian grocery store. It's really up to you. This one will give the chili oil some spice. Now, if you want to make it even more spicier, I found that this brand here is quite spicy. So you can use this one to make your chili oil crisp even spicier. So it's really up to you. Just choose and pick whichever one you find at your local grocery store and work with it. For the aromatics and herbs, I'm going to be using some family mince lemongrass here. I'm using the one that we grew in our garden this year. It just gives it really nice aroma. I also have some shallots that I minced up like this. And then we are using some family minced garlic as well. For the seasoning, I have some salt here. I have some chicken bouillon powder here and then I have some Szechuan peppercorns. This is totally optional but it does give the chili oil another level of flavor. And then for oil you can use any type of neutral oil that you like. I'm using canola oil today so it's really up to you. And that's it. So make sure you have all your ingredients ready because as we make this chili oil crisp everything is just going to go pretty quick. So to start, I have a really good nonstick pan here. We are going to cook the pork belly first. So add in all of the sliced pork belly into the pan. We're going to season it with some salt and garlic powder and then give it a good stir. To this, I'm going to add in half a cup of water, cook it on medium heat, cover it with the lid and allow this to steam and cook for about five minutes and then come back and stir every once in a while and then cover again and let it cook for about maybe three to five more minutes until you notice most of the water have evaporated. So after about 10 minutes, you'll start noticing the water has evaporated and the pork starting to brown a little bit like this. So at this point, turn your heat down to medium low and allow the pork to render and stir every once in a while for even cooking. After about 8 to 10 more minutes, you'll start noticing the pork browning up like this and crisping up. At this point, it's pretty much almost ready. We're going to give it a couple more minutes. And once it reaches to this point like this, super golden and crispy like this, we are pretty much done. We're going to strain this over a colander and allow the pork to cool completely. If you have any extra pork fat, Go ahead and reserve about a half a cup of that so that we can use it later. So in the same nonstick pan, I added the 4.5 cups of canola oil and we're going to put it on medium heat. And the first thing we want to cook and brown up is the minced garlic. Give it a good stir and allow this to bubble and cook up until all of the garlic is completely golden brown.
at this point you want to cook the garlic until it reaches this point here you don't want to go any further because the residual heat will cook the garlic even more so stop at this point where you can see it's still a little bit of white to the garlic but also some golden um, brown spots to it as well so yeah it should look like this we're gonna strain out the fried garlic into a bowl and allow this to cool like this over a strainer. So after you take out the fried garlic, make sure you turn off the heat and then we're gonna add in the minced up shallots. The reason why we're turning off the heat is that if you continue heating up the oil and adding in the shallots, the water from the shallots can overboil the oil, so it's just for safety. Once you add in the shallots, go ahead and turn back on the heat and same thing as the garlic, allow this to fry and get golden crispy. Just make sure you stir occasionally and at this point the shallot looks pretty good to me like this. We're going to do the same thing, take your strainer and strain out the shallots. And it should look something like this, nice and golden brown, but not completely burnt. Again, we're going to turn off the heat. And at this point, go ahead and add in the minced up lemongrass. Once you add in the lemongrass, go ahead and turn on the heat again. And allow this to fry up and crisp up. For the lemongrass, it's a little bit harder to tell as you fry it, but you'll start noticing less bubble on the top of the oil here, and it should look something like this. So once you see a lot of the lemongrass floating to the top and there's less bubbles on the surface here, um, it's pretty much ready. So at this point, we are gonna turn off the heat and we're gonna add in the chili flakes. Go ahead and add in all of the seasonings and then give it a really good stir. Allow this to sit for about five minutes before we add in the crispy pork belly here. And then we're gonna add in the half a cup of the pork fat that we reserved. Give it a really good stir. and then add the fried garlic and shallots back in. At this point, give it a good stir and this is pretty much it for the chili oil crisps. So some of the things to know is that salt and any type of seasonings that you add into oil does not dissolve. So whenever you wanna use this chili oil, make sure you give it a really good stir before you put it on whatever dish that you end up putting. We're gonna let this cool completely before we store it into a mason jar or any kind of storing container. So I cool it down and put it into a glass jar like this. I highly recommend storing it in the fridge for a longer life shelf and it can live in the fridge up to six months to at least a year. Other than that, put it in a jar, place it in the fridge and give it a really good stir before you put it on top of whatever you decide to put it on. Some of my favorite dishes that I enjoy putting this chili oil crisp on is some porridge. It's amazing with some pretty simple chicken porridge here, like the one I made here. And the best bite is when you get a little bit of that pork crackling. It's just super crispy and super delicious. I also love to put this chili oil crisp over some chicken noodle soup or what we like to call kopia. Um, it just gives the noodle soup another level of flavor and texture. It's so good, especially if you get a spoonful of some of that pork crackling. It's so good. <laughs> But overall, it goes great with any type of noodle soup. It's really up to you and what you decide to put it on. It's amazing with stir fries, with um, dumplings, with fried rice, pretty much anything. So with that being said, I hope you can give my mom's pork crackling chili oil crisp a try. Until then, I will see you in my next video.